In this video, we're going to look at how to download and install the latest NetGuard software for Apple Mac OS X 10.10 Yosemite operating system. So the first thing we have to do is go and open our browser. So let's go and do that. Okay, in my case, I've got Safari, which has got a default homepage of powershield.com.au. So once you arrive at the PowerShield homepage, and this is it, just scroll across these top buttons across the top here until you find the support button. Once you've found the support button, scroll down to the download area button and double click on the download area button. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, once you've arrived at the download area, simply go down and locate the latest NetGuard software for OS X 10 or OS 10.10 uh, for Mac. And this is the link here. So let's start the download by double clicking on it. Okay, now because I've got a download also loaded in my dock, you'll see the download progress in my dock, as well as what you'd normally get, which is up here, in, which is really the same thing, just telling you what's happening with the progress of the downloads. So I can go and have a look at that and see how it's progressing by double clicking on this arrow, or actually one click. Uh, and as you can see, it will take a good four minutes. So what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and rejoin the video as we approach the end of the download. We've just come up to the end of the download now and the download's complete. So basically all we do is we just open up this OS X 10 Mac 8664 file by double clicking on him. And when we do that, we can just drop the browser into the background because we don't need to, to look at that. So in OS X 10 Mac 8664, you will actually find three folders. One will be a README PDF folder, which you can go and look at um, in your own time. And the other one is um, this Java for OS X package, which is uh, Java for OS X 2014-001, and it is a requirement for install NetGuard 8664 for OS 10.10 .10 on Yosemite. So if you haven't installed this already on your system, you must install it. If you have, you can bypass this step and go straight ahead and install NetGuard. But for completeness, I will demonstrate this as a first time through. So here we go. So I'll just run Java for OS X. So double click on that. And when that opens up, it'll just ask me that um, we're about to start the OS X 2014-001 installer. So just press continue. Okay, and go through all the important information, continue. Uh, software license, continue. Do you agree with the software license? Yes. Okay, and select the disk, just default drive, and please install. Okay, and at this point it will ask me for my login username password, so I'll enter that. Go. So this will just install Java for OS X 2014-001 now for the NetGuard install app requirement for Yosemite. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, and we're done. So we can close that. Now we have need to extract and unzip the install NetGuard from the zip folder. So let's just do that by double clicking on him. Okay, so there's the extracted file, so now I can open him by double-clicking on it. All right, so the first thing that guy will do will ask you, are you sure you want to open it? And the answer is yes, so let's go ahead and open it. There we go. And I'll just drop this into the background. Okay, NetGuard's asking me for all the default questions. So do I want English? Yes, for me, so I'll press OK. And this, you'll be greeted with this intro page just telling you what you want to do with NetGuard. So we just do next. Choose install folder. Let's just go with the defaults. On, do we want an alias on the desktop, an icon? Yes. So pre-install summary looks good. Install. So NetGuard will go off and do its thing and install the NetGuard icon on the desktop over here. And incidentally, it will come up again and ask me for a password to install the UPS driver. So I'll just enter my login password again. And press next. That will install the UPS driver. So let's go ahead and do that. Say next. 
All right, and install is complete. So we just press done. And that's it. NetGuard will now automatically start itself for the first time. And you can see it down here, uh, attempting to commence communication with my PowerShield Defender 650 UPS connected to my Yosemite Mac OS X 10.10 .10 system. And you can see the communication window has just opened up, telling me that communication is established. And that's reflected in this little icon here. It looks like a little bar graph that just keeps scrolling up and up and up. And if you see that, and it's confirmed by this communication window saying it's been established, communication between the USB port and the PowerShield Defender, then you can just go ahead and open the monitor. So let's go and do that and have some fun. All right. NetGuard, when it first opens up, always comes to this um, opening page, which shows you the power flow through the UPS. In this case, is a Defender Line Interactive device. So you just see the power flow going through in this direction here, as indicated. And that's it. NetGuard is now running on my Apple Mac OS X 10.10 .10 Yosemite operating system. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and very simple to do. Thank you for, very much for watching this video.